Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'll talk about cell momentum balance for flow of two adjacent immiscible fluid. Now here is the problem statement. Consider the steady laminar flow of two immiscible incompressible liquids between two parallel plate parallel flat plates under the influence of pressure gradient using cell momentum balance approach. Now here that is the one plate in the top plate and this is the bottom plate in between two immiscible fluids are there in liquid one is actually bottom layer and liquid two is the top layer in bottom layer dynamic viscosity is mu1 and density rho1 and top liquid now here mu1 greater than mu2 now here system geometry channel length is l channel width that is w total channel height 2b now here the center line is start from here the mid of the channel so from that can be start from 0 0 and from here to that bottom, bottom plate distance is b that is minus b because it is negative x direction and positive b that is positive x direction so total distance is 2b means total channel height 2b upper plate at x is equal to plus b lower plate x is equal to minus b and liquid liquid interface at x is equal to 0 now assumption so here are the assumptions first one is steady state flow means dou t of dou t dou of dou t means dou of something by dou t is equal to 0 means something with respect to time is equal to 0 means steady state flow next is fully developed flow so dou vz by dou z means in the z direction if you take any two point in, in the straight line that velocity actually is same means dou vz by dou z is equal to 0 means fully developed flow no slip at the solid wall means uh, that interface means solid and liquid so that is no slip boundary condition is applied means velocity is zero and continuity at liquid liquid interface and fluid is newtonian fluid incompressible flow and immiscible liquid so both fluid will not be miscible so no body force so here gravity neglected because this channel is horizontal so no gravity force and no end effect flow only in z direction because vx and vy is equal to 0 because there is a no flow in x direction and y direction so that's why vx and vy is 0 and vz vz is vz means z direction flow that is function of x only because there is a no variation in z direction and y direction so only x direction that vz will vary so that's why vz is function of x because if you go from here to here here to here the velocity will change so that's why vz is equal to vz of function of x and driving force here pressure gradient because of pressure gradient flow is flow actually happening here so dp by dz is equal to pg minus p0 minus pl by l so that is the pressure gradient now here so cell definition so we have to take for cell momentum analysis we have to take that small delta x cell thickness okay so now it will be like that okay so delta cell thickness delta x and width is w and length is l and the tau xz is acting the surface of the cell and again also in the bottom that tau xz also acting so here uh, it is saying that consider a thin cell control volume of thickness del x at position x cell dimension length is l width is w thickness is w delta x so apply moment of balance to this differential cell element now for this cell element various component of the momentum balance are so first rate of momentum in by viscous transport at x direction so x direction the viscous force 
sorry rate of momentum in by viscous transport at x x you can say this is the x and then x plus delta x so this is x and then x plus delta x so that is l into w into tau xz at x so and x plus delta x so l into w into tau xz x plus del x so that two is the viscous transport now as it is a fully developed flow so convective term uh, no convective uh, momentum is there or acting because it is fully developed flow so and pressure force acting at z is equal to 0 so here z is equal to 0 pressure is acting another is z is equal to l pressure is acting so pressure force acting at z is equal to 0 that that is del x into w into p0 z is equal to 0 pressure for acting at z is equal to l because pressure is acting this this direction so that's why minus is coming so del x minus w into because this is area into that pressure so that will be that is actually force so minus del x into w into that pl at z is equal to l so that is the the pressure force acting uh, on the cell at steady state rate of momentum accumulation is zero so now here the general momentum balance equation for the cell is rate of momentum in minus rate of momentum out plus sum of forces is equal to zero so substituting uh, the component so l into w into tau xz at x minus l into w into tau xz x plus del x and then that force we have to take account on that del x into w p0 minus del x into w pl is equal to 0 now dividing above equation by l into d l into w into del x and del x tends to 0 so we'll get tau xz x plus del x minus tau xz at x del x is equal to p0 minus pl by l we'll get that now so as we are taking that limit del x tends to 0 so we'll get the differentiation so d by dx of tau xz is equal to p0 minus pl by l that is equal to constant now here so this is the actually constant so that is that's why constant now here if i do the integration so we will get tau xz is equal to p0 minus pl by l into x plus c1 now for liquid one bottom layer so we can write now so here you can see here so tau x is acting on the top as well as in the bottom layer so in the for top layer you can say for liquid one uh, bottom layer if we consider so that is tau xz actually acting in the bottom plate so that tau xz1 p0 minus pl by l x plus c1 1 so 1 is for that liquid one similarly for liquid two top layer tau xz2 p0 minus pl l into x plus c1 2 now at liquid liquid interface so we have to find out that c1 and c1 2 so for here liquid at liquid liquid interface momentum flux and velocity are continuous across the interface so uh, at boundary condition 1 at x is equal to 0 so tau x z1 is equal to tau x z2 so here both are same so from here so if i put that so we can we will get c11 is equal to c12 is equal to c1 so now ultimately we'll get that tau here so tau x z1 is equal to p0 minus pl l x into c1 now apply Newton law of viscosity tau xz is equal to minus mu divided by dx so we can plug that so for liquid 1 minus mu 1 divided 1 by dx is equal to p0 minus pl by l into x plus c1 similarly liquid 2 minus mu 2 divided 2 dx is equal to p0 minus pl by l x plus c1 now so integrating equation 3 and 4 if we integrate this equation this equation as well as this equation will get that vz1 is equal to minus p0 minus pl x square 2 mu1 l minus c1 x by mu1 plus c2 1 we will get from this if we do that integration from here 
so we will get this and if we integrate this equation we will get vz2 is equal to minus p0 minus plx2 2 mu 2l minus c1x mu 2 plus c2 of 2. Now velocity also continuous at the liquid liquid interface so here means vz1 is equal to vz2 so if we plug that we will find that c21 is equal to c22 is equal to c2 so we will get that minus uh, okay so we will we'll, we'll get this another if we put boundary condition at the solid wall so boundary condition 3 bc3 at x is equal to b means stop wall bz is equal to 0 means no slip boundary condition so from that we can plug that so here that this v0 is 0 at x is equal to b so from here we will get one equation so like minus p0 minus pl b square by 2 mu 2l minus c1 b mu 2 plus c2 now at x is x is equal to minus b minus bottom wall bottom wall again vz1 is equal to 0 so again from here if you plug that value so we will get another equation so this equation another this equation two equation and two unknown from two unknown means c1 and c2 both are unknown so we can if we solve that we will get c1 and c2 now here rearranging this equation so c1 b okay so is equal to if we rearrange these two equation okay so or we can plug that here you can get that c2 and that will plug into one okay so or rearrange the equation from step six so we'll get c1 b 1 by mu 1 plus 1 by mu 2 do this so from here if we rearrange means that here is two equation so from these two equation if we rearrange so ultimately we will get c1 c1 is a minus p0 minus pl by 2l by b mu1 minus mu2 and mu1 plus mu2 so here mu1 is greater than mu2 so we have mu1 minus mu2 greater than 0 so c1 less than 0 because minus sign is there now similarly if we plug c1 in the any equation so we will get c2 so this is the tedious job we have to do the hand calculation and we will get that c2 so that is sorry p0 minus pl b square by l mu1 plus mu2 after getting that two constant so we plug that finally we will get tau xz so p0 minus pl by l into minus p0 minus pl b into b 2l mu1 minus mu2 by mu1 minus mu2 and if we uh, reorganize so tau xz will be p0 minus pl b l x by b minus half mu1 minus mu2 mu1 minus mu2 now if i draw the shear stress profile it will be like that so here key observation from this profile or key observation from this equation so we can write that shear stress varies linearly with the position of x so we can see that so shear stress varies with linearly with the position position with position x same expression applied to both liquid continuity at interface so the term mu1 minus mu2 and mu1 plus mu2 represent the viscosity ratio effect now similarly we will get that vz1 and vz2 if we plug c1 and c2 so this is the profile you have here if nothing is there you have to do the mathematics you have to plug that you will get that you need practice no other things so both profile are parabolic but the different curvature due to the due to the viscosity difference now if you see here that in that bottom that bottom liquid viscosity is higher so it will be like that okay and this is the velocity profile and upper uh, as viscosity is lesser than that liquid one so that's why that velocity is moving ahead okay so that that that's why you are getting a uh, different type of the vis that velocity profile now we can get the average velocity for each layer that is calculated vz1 is equal to 1 by b minus b2 0 z1 1 dx another vz2 is equal to 1 by b 0 to b vz2 x now you have to plug that vz1 
and you have to do integration similarly vz2 so it is also tedious job you have to do that okay no other choice if you do that you have to be strong in mathematics you have to do that you will get vz1 and vz2 vz1 is p0 minus pl b square 12 mu1 l 7 mu1 plus mu2 mu1 plus mu2 similarly vz2 you will get p0 minus pl b square 12 mu2 l 7 mu2 plus mu1 mu1 plus mu2 now here you have to do that integration then only you will get that okay no uh, no other choice you, have, you must know the integration and you have to do the practice that that way you will get the average velocity okay and location where the velocity is the maximum uh, can be found using dvz by dx so now here if you see the velocity profile so maximum velocity you will get this position okay so this is the maximum velocity so what is the the distance if if you find the distance what is the location of the maximum velocity so for that here maximum velocity means what that shear stress will be zero you can see here that shear stress is zero means dvz by dx that is equal to zero so now vz we know we plug that okay and after plugging and we make zero first we have to uh, vz we have to plug and then do the differentiation and make zero we will get that x max is equal to by2 mu1 minus mu2 mu1 plus mu2 so that is the location of the maximum velocity so now here is the key physical insight velocity profile both profile are parabolic but with different curvatures higher viscosity liquid has flat profile maximum velocity occurs in less viscosity liquid liquid 2 interface condition velocity is continuous vz1 at 0 is equal to vz2 0 shear stress is also continuous tau x z z1 0 is equal to tau x z 2 0 means at the interface shear stress linear variation across the both layer single expression valid for both liquids discontinuous slope at interface due to viscosity difference and average velocities higher viscosity liquid has lower average velocity both depends on viscosity ratio mu1 minus mu2 by mu1 plus mu2 and physical reasoning the more viscous liquid bottom experience greater resistance to flow with the interface act as a slip boundary with continuous velocity and shear stress so here is the summary of the final result so tau xz p0 minus pl into b by l x by b minus half mu1 minus mu2 mu1 plus mu2 and velocity profile vz1 p0 minus pl b, b square by 2 mu1 l minus x square by b square plus x by b mu1 minus mu2 mu1 plus mu2 plus 2 mu1 mu1 plus mu2 similarly vz2 will get average velocity vz1 p0 minus pl b square 12 mu1 l 7 mu1 plus mu2 mu1 plus mu2 similarly average velocity for that second layer and maximum velocity location x max b by 2 mu1 minus mu2 by mu1 by mu2 that's it thank you